Hello everyone, welcome back to my Maverick channel and here we talk about cryptocurrencies and all manner of digital currencies, especially real world use cases. So today I want to cover some products, three products especially in the Cosmos ecosystem, which are tackling the interoperability standard with EVM uh, technologies, for example, Axilla, Evmos, and Agoric. Those technologies are building some impactful stuff in the Cosmos ecosystem. So guys, make sure you stay for the whole video because we're going to review what they're about. So straight off the get guys, the first thing I have to say is liking and subscribing is extremely impactful to this channel. It helps me, especially in the bear market, because it's not easy to keep up with some of these things. But in case you're not aware, the Cosmos ecosystem is built on this modular infrastructure that allows a developer to build stuff customized to what they like because it runs on a proof of stake um, mechanism. It also has other mechanisms like Tendermint, consensus algorithms. So it achieves the consensus algorithms with the intention of having fast finality. So in other words, you send through transactions, some sort of interaction, but all these things happen really fast. But then there's other things that can be implemented more into the Cosmos system, like privacy, making it um, interoperable with other standards. For example, they built very good technologies like the inter-blockchain communication protocol that allows inter-cosmos chains to actually communicate with each other that is the hubs and the zones to interact with each other and then these technologies these companies that are building ways that actually work right now of not only creating synthetic assets but also real ways of transferring value from other chains that are outside of the cosmos or tendermint consensus algorithms into that ecosystem and also vice versa so i'm going to briefly review some of these and one of them is axilla in case you haven't heard of them so in just to prevent explaining so much, most of you that use the Cosmos ecosystem, you know about Osmosis, which is pretty much the biggest decentralized exchange on the Cosmos ecosystem. And they've been, they've fronted, they've successfully implemented the idea of IBC. You don't have to know how to uh, manipulate the different RPCs with your wallet. We can just straight away do all of these transfers by one click within Osmosis. Now, when you come to Osmosis, you can look at some of these stable coins like USDC, wrapped Ethereum, wrapped Bitcoin. You can see these values, these coins have been extended onto the Cosmos ecosystem. Of course, guys, this is not investment advice or some kind of liquid farming advice because you have to be careful with these uh, synthetic assets. But Axilla seem to be proving themselves as uh, creating these robust uh, assets that mirror uh, Bitcoin and EVM compatible assets. Now, when you click, for example, USDC, which originally these some of these tokens were built on the Ethereum as ERC20 standards, you can see it as a ticker here, Axilla, which is a company, this company, they're doing this. So they are pretty much dominating. They've been able to bring back some sort of stable coin issuance within the Cosmos ecosystem, at least as the Cosmos ecosystem builds its own algorithmic or other type of technology stable coin. So in short, that's what Axilla does. You you can actually use them or if you're a developer you can read through to understand what they do axilla powers the cross-chain future just a brief a brief note on what the website says axilla delivers secure cross-chain communication for web 3 those i don't know that's the way to interact with your browser this financial layer nfts uh the metaverse concepts that are coming up in a decentralized manner so axilla delivers secure cross-chain communication for web 3 our infrastructure enables dap users or decentralized application users to interact with any asset or application on any chain with one click so that is the idea is that they want to create this way of having these assets on other chains they can interact with on other chains as well so the advantage of building on the cosmos ecosystem is that you can extend this value not only out into the cosmos ecosystem and other chains built here but you can also extend this value on other um, blockchains that aren't necessarily built on the tenement consensus algorithm so yeah, that is the essence of it, interoperability. So you can see some of the backers they have, like Polychain Capital, Dragonfly Capital. Polychain is pretty big. They're one of the biggest, some of the biggest venture caps in, in the crypto market. Galaxy, Coinbase, Binance, uh, Northern Ireland, Divergence, Data Collective, uh, Lemniska. I'm not hard some of these things, but when you see Coinbase, Coinbase Ventures, Binance, Polychain Capital, Galaxy Digital, these are some of the biggest. And then they have partners like Avalanche itself. So we're talking about different blockchains that, do, that have different, that don't have infrastructure that easily communicates outside of themselves uh, in, with other blockchains. So Avalanche, then Cosmos, we have things like eMoney, Ethereum, 
then of course the ledger wallet not all of these are blockchains like the ledger wallet that's how you interact then osmosis the decks we've seen polka dot another blockchain secret i think this is secret network and moonbeam so things like that and others so they, they're creating these partnerships in the bear market that will allow that seamless inter integration of these assets into other assets we know this is important especially as we move forward with the adoption of cryptocurrencies so add interoperability to your dApps now dApps can communicate across chains using Turing complete calls and messages on a permissionless proof of stake transport layer so of course guys you have to check this out yourself um, these guys are building these APYs actually I can show you something here so essentially the basis is this diagram that you're looking at the screen axilla technology stack I, as always say pictures say a thousand words you can see ethereum here avalanche cosmos polka dot as examples and you have axilla software development kits and apis and you have these gateways so we have an ethereum gateway uh, a gateway for avalanche a gateway for osmosis a gateway for uh, polka dot and what these gateways do is that they implemented with these smart contracts you can say layer one gateways here what layer one is for example ethereum is a layer one blockchain so if you have a layer one gateway which means it means it can ideally implement smart contract communication with the actual layer one blockchain that you're looking for which means in the future or I guess with as, as the technology advances you'll be actually to to port through the actual tokens from one ecosystem to another at least that would be the most ideal situation as we're tackling this um, interoperability standard so regardless of whether you're a validator developer or not you should be able to implement some of these open source technologies or smart contract gateways it should be a plug and play type of thing so that's what they're tackling and those that do not know about them you can check them out and see how impactful this can actually be so axilla that's it if you want to find out more about them you can actually do more research on them plug and play integration sitting on top of layers of the network are apys and protocols and application development layer that developers use to compose cross across any number of chains developers go across chain without new programming languages or the need to roll out or manage complicated infrastructure they focus on the building the functionality that differentiates their dap once integrated all new interconnected blockchains automatically become interoperable with the application enabling limitless network effects now you all know osmosis these are people building also uh, technologies in this space now we go to evmos as well now evmos this was actually formerly known as ethermint and the, their idea was really connecting evm which is ethereum virtual machine blockchains and ethereum virtual machine compatible blockchains or like for example i show you binance smart chain does implement ethereum virtual machine but it runs on the tenement consensus algorithm so being able to seamlessly move this value from ethereum virtual machine compatible blockchains including ethereum itself or you know things like wallets like metamask being able to put those onto the web3 um a standard uh, pretty cool is that what it's what they do and the way they started this that they had a fair launch of their tokens where uh, users of ethereum that got burned by gas fees that uh their smart contracts were hacked maybe they'll interact interacting with particular smart contracts you know all this is stored within the blockchain data so what they did is that they offered this reimbursement sort of um uh, platform where you come and can claim your tokens based on your wallet's history so your ethereum wallet's history for example you can see i was able to claim some tokens here based on a i guess rec standard of my gas fees so there were other people that had interacted more with the ethereum blockchain in the past that were i guess able to claim more tokens and of course you can stake them and keep doing that thing because these are all proof of stake blockchains and tokens so you can stake them and keep uh, protecting yourself protecting yourself from that inflation also earning more tokens so as the markets maybe pump in the future you have way more and you also get to participate in these ecosystems so what evmos does guys they want to create you have two blockchains on either side you have an evm blockchain for example or you have avalanche uh, that's evm compatible you have the cosmos side so they want the user to be able to easily bridge these assets but they also want the developers to easily also create tools that can be used and in turn the avalanche blockchain also benefits from that in the way that this sort of value transaction fees or something like that is split on both ends so as users are interacting with these uh, interoperable standards value is being spread out to the users to the developers of either side of either blockchain that's being used and that is purely the essence and you can see they're best based around sort of this stake drop and then you can also stake your tokens for example you can see here you can stake your evmos tokens to actually keep earning some kind of reward so that's pretty pretty interesting stuff that's going on but they've successfully implemented an interoperable standard such that when you claim your tokens you can actually go to an ibc transfer right over here you capture your cosmos address and then you're able to instantly move your tokens from the ethereum virtual machine 
to the cosmos side of things. So the last time I tried pushing them like this, it's not possible to move them from osmosis back to EVM, at least the last time I tried. Maybe they've implemented that right now. Uh, you'll have to confirm, but the last time I tried it wasn't. But I think it's something they're going to easily do because they've already perfected the other side. So creating a reverse of that will be amazing because you'll finally be able to communicate from Ethereum to Cosmos and then from Cosmos to Ethereum, which will help to eliminate the centralized exchange, the centralized exchanges that we have to use today to achieve some of these interoperable standards. So these guys, they of course have other partners like Sivmos, I think it was Seller Network. So introducing Sivmos, an open scalable modular stack for EVM based applications. So what you can see the focus here and this partnership was with Celestia. I can read free the first paragraph here to get a better understanding. Celestia is working with Evmos to build an optimal setup layer for EVM rollups that goes into scalability. As you can see, many companies are trying to build these rollups on Ethereum because when you have a rollup, you, you can scale the blockchain. The finality, you can do all the transactions on this rollup, you roll it up and then push it onto the main blockchain to, to achieve that finality, which means the user doesn't have to incur gas fees with every interaction. That is the whole essence of rollups. So EVM rollups allow users to execute transactions off chain exactly for cheaper transaction fees while broadcasting the transaction data to an on-chain consensus yeah, and data availability layer for security. So rollups offer developers and end user scalability as transactions are executed off layer one, alleviating congestion. Guys, that is it. If you want more details about this, that is the whole essence of rollups. And I imagine like that is the biggest essence of the partnerships. So Sivmos, short for Celestia, um, Evmos, Cosmos is an open modular stack for EVM based applications utilizing Celestia rollups. So you're looking at these rollups, we know um, uh, uh, blockchains like Polygon Network, which is trying to scale the Ethereum side of things, the Ethereum network, one of the biggest networks pursuing actively uh, uh, scaling the Ethereum network. They've implemented all kinds of uh, side chains, rollups, and all other kinds of ZK snarks, all other kinds of technologies to increase privacy and scalability of the Ethereum network, but also create these uh, increasing value effects within uh, blockchain usage, within the Polygon network itself and other networks that then henceforth adopt their token or their blockchain or their some sort of standard so guys, the other, the last uh, token or ecosystem that I want to talk about is Agoric. Now you all know before we had uh, Luna and Terra Luna, you understand the debacle that happened. A lot of money was lost, a lot of infrastructure got destroyed, a lot of borrowed money got, or borrowed money, lent money got stuck in decentralized exchanges because the stable coin on Luna collapsed. Now Agoric is, their major, major ammo is build fast and earn fast, a proof of stake chain utilizing hardened javascript so that's where they want to implement javascript smart contract contracts smart contracts to rapidly build and deploy DeFi. so their essence is that let's bring the web to developers the people already know how to build websites they already know how to build different tools and let's tell them hey you can come over to the blockchain side you don't need to use solidity or other types of languages you could i guess but you can straight away start with the language that you're familiar with. And in this case, they're going with JavaScript. So that is the essence of these guys. They're building some amazing stuff. And I think one of the projects, one of the products that they're building that people are truly excited about or that they can't wait for, I heard one of the videos, the guy said probably in a month or so, um, they're building this stablecoin, which is IST, which is something like maybe international standard token or something like that, or stable token, some kind of inter-stable token, like the way you see inter-blockchain communications, so they want to create like an IST, which is called inter-stable token. We can have this stablecoin that understand the, understands the Cosmos ecosystem. You can interact with it in all kinds of ways, maybe perform microtransactions. Basically, it's, it's up to them to see how they seamlessly implement it within. It has the ability to do IBC transfer and communicate with all kinds of layers within the Cosmos ecosystem. So that's one of the biggest uh, uh, features that they're building and that's one of the features that the community is uh, looking out for. But otherwise, guys, if you're a developer, just you can read their blog post announcing five dApps to launch on the Algorithm mainnet and you can find out a little bit more, like explore the validator community. When you read their website, you can actually find out more about their architecture, try today, and you, when you're a developer, they provide some of the boat smart contracts within that you can use with JavaScript to actually test out these different technologies. So the advantage, as a conclusion, the advantage of all these interoperable standards is that if you're building on Ethereum, you can easily continue building the way you build and your applications would be interoperable with Cosmos. 
because of these infrastructure that has been built that enables you then enables what you built to be interoperable so you don't have to focus on figuring out interoperability because someone else has figured it out you don't have to focus on whether a bridge they're using to port over different tokens is secure or not because you have a trustless way of actually moving value and eventually this is where all these technologies are conver converging to all right guys i really hope you learned something i think this is really exciting this interoperability standard when you implement also other things like NFTs as we move forward because they've completely taken over the crypto space, I think we're going to see some major shifts in the way most blockchains are used as long as they're successful like Ethereum, Cosmos, Avalanche and so on because they want to have the interoperability standard and the developers won't have to leave them. Other new developers may want to develop there but at least they know that their value can be extended to others because of these tools that have been built that allow genuine value exchange and also modularity and building other complex technologies like AI, machine learning, and ability to communicate with different infrastructures in that way. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. I urge you to go take a deeper look at these technologies because I think they're going to be some of the most impactful when it comes to interchain communication and, and sort of exploring what the Cosmos ecosystem has to offer. All right, guys, I hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.